because of this new science that we have, there are a whole bunch of new possibilities that are, that are possible now. Um, as a note, I should mention that we're currently working with Hynix, which is one of the top uh, memory manufacturers in the world, to commercialize Mephister. And we believe the first products will come out in either 2014 or 2015. I also talked with you about our exciting plastic flexible displays, which will make displays in the future that are thinner, lighter, and virtually unbreakable. Okay. This was made possible by an engineering breakthrough. That is a breakthrough in how we can manufacture displays at much lower cost than what we do today. Then I also showed how we can put the two of these together to create cloud-connected uh, personal devices. And I should mention here that the cloud is something that is of strategic importance to HP. So HP businesses are investing hugely in the cloud as well as HP labs. And we're trying to align all these efforts to make these cloud-connected personal devices more efficient, more effective, and most secure. And then with these devices, we can blend together the physical and digital worlds. This is an area I think is particularly exciting. Uh, I think we're just uh, seeing the tip of the iceberg in terms of what's possible, and the many, many opportunities uh, ahead for us here. What we're doing is we're working with Autonomy, which HP recently acquired. And Autonomy, as you may know, has the Erasmus Augmented Reality Engine, which is one of the top augmented reality engines used today throughout the world. And we're working with them to turn that vision, which I showed you a couple minutes ago, into reality. So at HP Labs, what we're doing is we're working very closely with our business units to make innovation that matters. To make innovation that matters to you and to the rest of the world. And our belief is that by succeeding at this, we'll make Bill and Dave proud. Thank you.